Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another Summoner's War video. And today I'm going to walk you through how my brand new account was able to clear Giants 10 on day seven. I can clear Dragons 10 and an Abyssal Flora Dragons. I still have to manual that, but Giants 10, I have that audible on day seven. We're in day eight of my account as I'm filming this. Let me walk you through how I did it as a brand new player who had never touched this game before, who had never watched a YouTube video or any content of this game before I started a little bit over a week ago and let me just give it to you in my own words because one thing I'll tell you if you're walking into this game as a brand new player the terminology used by content creators who've been playing this game for like eight nine ten years is hard to follow there's a lot of uh, words thrown around that don't necessarily mean what I thought they meant it was very hard to dive into this game and find guides that were super helpful for me now as I've learned more about the game those other content creators videos have become more and more useful but there are a ton of monsters just looking at tier list wasn't a big help so I kind of had to like fumble my way through it I definitely miss you some resources I hope I can save you some of that trouble by showing you what I did right what I did wrong and let me show you how you could clear Giants 10 on day 7 as a brand new player yourself. First, let's focus on what monsters you should be working on if you want to do it. The current team I'm using to clear Giants 10, and you can see, I can clear I can clear Abyss normal, but I can't auto clear it. I have to like fight that thing myself. That's not the goal. We're using Giants and Dragons right here to farm runes, which, oh my gosh, that's going to be your thing that's holding you back in this game, and that's why you need to farm this. Anyway, here's Giants. Here's my Giants team. Here we go. We've got Sigmaris, free to play, farmable unit. We've got Crow, free to play, farmable unit. We've got Veramos, guess what? Free to play, farmable unit. We've got Fran, maybe the easiest farmable unit in the game. And I'm using Galleon, who's just a four star drop. And if you don't have him, you can replace him with Lapis, a unit the game just gives you, and then you can farm up. Now, definitely your runes are going to be the, they're just going to hold you back, right? Like you're going to get what the game throws at you. And especially if you're not spending money, these are going to just, the, you're going to hit a wall. And that wall in this game is you just need better runes and you need to be able to farm giants and dragons, at least at first to get those. You can see giants drops, intangible, despair. Okay. Those aren't great, but energy, Hey, you can make a lot of use of that fatal. Yep. You can make use of that blade. Absolutely. And swift. Absolutely. These are good runes to farm as a brand new player dragons which a lot of these same players that i just showed you can run in dragons dragons drops excuse me violent which is usable focus not so much um shield not so much revenge is okay so there are some different sets in here uh, to me giants was my first goal and it's the one that i had the easiest time with which is many with as many water characters as i have on this account i thought dragons would be easier for me but for some reason or another giants was i do want to mention Veramos or, or Vertihile real quick. This is another free to play farmable unit in this game that for basically all content, but, uh, but giants, I have found this man to be just clutch as a new player. So let me show you where to get these guys. So you can kind of have some focus on what you should be leveling early. Most of them are found in this building right here, the fusion building. You click this button, boom, there's Phoenix that turns into Sigmaris, right? And Sigmaris is important because he does HP scaling damage. So if we look at Sigmaris' skills right here, he does damage based on the boss's max HP. That's really good for killing bosses. You want to build this guy? to land some massive crits on bosses. He's going to be like your main damage dealer on your team. Plus, he debuffs their attack power, which is really good. He can freeze another max HP move right here, and he has a stun he can do. So very, very useful things. Crowd controlling the enemy, very useful. There's a lot of like AOE fights in these boss run rooms, and that's where I was losing, especially on my dragons runs for some reason. I will lose on like the mid boss where they just focus down one of my targets. And if I'm built on being able to just kill one big single target, I will lose to like the multitude of targets. So Sigmaris is good for all all of that because he does AOE crowd control, max HP damage. This dude is clutch, clutch. Okay, um, Ifrit, which turns into Veramos. This guy is great for a couple of reasons. One is his passive, it always runs. And every time it's this guy's turn, he cleanses your whole team and 
Uh, so here, let me read it to you. Removes a harmful effect. So every time it's his turn, he cleanses your team, removes a harmful effect, except in ability effects, on all allies each turn, and the allies will recover their HP by 5% for each effect removed. So he heals a little bit. In addition, your attack bar increases by 15 for each harmful effect remaining on the ally after attacking each turn. Insane cleanse right here from him. Then he does this super crush. He attacks all enemies if, with, again, a max HP damaging attack. Now, I don't build him for as much damage as I build my, you know, uh, Sigmaris, but mostly that's because I lack the runes, and so I need to be able to farm some better runes. Anyway, it's a max HP damage, and it will either stun them, and if it doesn't stun them, it will knock their attack bar down by 50%. Knocking attack bars down, right? That bar that's charging up to give you a turn is so, so important as a new player. Because look, you just don't have the damage to speed run it. You don't have the damage to just walk out there and be like, bang, 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 I'm going to four shot you, boss. No, no, no. You have to long game it a little bit. You have to sustain through it and one way of sustaining through it is by not letting them have turns it's a great way to do it so he could do that for you really well the plus his like regular attack right here um puts continuous damage which once again is damage that like takes every time it's a boss's turn Do that that doesn't synergize great with knocking their turn down but this will be really clutch for you as well so absolute mvp then here's verdheil the vampire the fire vampire this dude like i said his passive right here every time he crits so you just build this guy to 100 percent crit every time he crits it fills the attack bar of your allies by 20 percent not only that all of his attacks are multi-hit so he'll crit at least twice basically with every attack so your allies attack bars are just filling up why he's so important is you're just gonna lack speed you're gonna lack speed as a new player because again your runes suck he is a way of overcoming your lack of speed in your runes so build him early okay other really important units and how to get them uh go to my monsters tab right here we've already said lapis she's given away you just follow the summoner's way i'm currently on intermediate working on clearing travel ascension floor 100 which will give me a skill up that i can like use on lapis and give me this sweet default five star monster scroll so maybe i can hit a good five star that would be sweet that's a goal I'm working on. So that's where you get Lapis. The other monsters, Crow right here, another MVP for free to play players. This dude, you just like, you get him. He's a three or two star monster. He's like the Inugami. Just get, this is dark Inugami. You get him, you level him up, and then you have to farm him to where he's red stars. I'll show you how to do that here in a second, but his skills are very important. He uh, attacks with enemy razor sharp, decreasing their defense. Defense debuffs. Debuffing the bosses is a big deal. So look for for units like crow right here that can defense debuff and attack debuff the bosses so very useful here and he does continual damage with that attack he could do team up so he brings another ally along to attack with him this again say you're bringing vertihile with him who's then filling up everybody's attack bar as he crits that's really nice um so his follow-up attack is great and it does more damage for each harmful effect um, applied to the enemy. The damage increased by 20% for each harmful effect on the enemy, and this effect also applies to the ally who attack together. So very useful there. Then Scar attacks the enemy's wounds to leave a branding effect. So he does branding. I don't honestly know what branding does, except it makes you do more damage. Damage increases by 50% for each harmful effect on the enemy. So he scales off of uh, harmful effects on the enemy. You just build this guy to do like big time crit damage. That's kind of the way you build DPS units in this game is give them a bunch of crit damage and a high enough crit that they crit and he will tear through bosses for you. Galleon has a skill that I like. It's Pirate Strike right here. First of all, he does another defense debuff. So this is good. He defense debuffs people. Then his other thing he does is he absorbs attack bar. It's a 30% attack bar absorber. And if I can ever get this leveled up to five, he can do it every other turn. That's really OP. Lapis brings that same thing with a retrieve magic, right? It's usable every three turns, absorbs 25% of the attack bar. When you're building these guys, let me give you another tip that again, people who've played this game for a long time won't give you this. For some reason, you just don't find this. You gotta have some accuracy, right? Like even with 52% accuracy right there, or like my galleon, I built him to 100% accuracy. Cause the only thing I give a blank about with him is he's deep is he's knocking the boss's uh status bar down so i built him to 100 percent for somebody like lapis i want her to like steal a little bit of life and things like that as well so i didn't build her all the way to 100 percent there i built her for a little bit more damage right gave her the life drain set so she could keep herself alive then yeah okay 
Anyway, that's that. You need some accuracy. Accuracy allows you to land your debuffs and your status effects and things like that. So that's that's the thing that I didn't understand for a while that I wanted to tell you. Okay, another thing with your runes. When you're building a damage dealer, find the runes you have that have crit damage in slot four. This is your most important uh, thing for dam for your DPS units. Your units you want to do a lot of damage. Here in slot two, you can either find speed if you want your units to go really fast or HP percentage has been clutched for me there. Then up here, I like either HP or attack percentage. And I know this is again, another thing the people who have played this game for a really long time are gonna just recommend a generic build that works like really well for them and what they think are new players. But what they think are new players are not me and you. They're not people who are just walking into this game and fumbling around. You need a boatload of HP to survive these bosses, especially if your healer is Fran. I don't like this is the most recommended chick as a new free to play unit. And maybe the one I'm the most disappointed in, like, I don't know why. I've basically got all of her skills max. I need one more point into Light Hurricane, but like I've got her single target heal and her AOE heal maxed. Still, it's not enough healing to like sustain me through these fights, even with the bunch of HP I have. Maybe I've built her wrong. You can see the stats I have for her right here. Maybe that's my problem. Her heals like the recover amount is proportionate to the attack power that's weird like the fact that she's healing based off of attack power maybe that's what's holding her back but she's very easy to build build light fairy into fran and she at least is a good enough healer for now i know there is the light inugami that you could build up that i've seen recommended as another healer but i was able to do it with her as my sustainer so that's kind of my free to play unit walkthrough hopefully maybe you've caught like a great five star or something from your polls and you can swap out somebody in one of those roles i was just talking about now if you want to use crow right here here let me let me show you something else i didn't understand i got this guy to five stars and i got him awakened the first time to this right here to yo purple crow but you need red crow red crow is the what you need this makes him a this gives him a, another huge power up and the way you do that is you have to go into battle and you have to go into dimensional hole and you farm this right here so karzan it was karzan remains and here you can see there's crow's farming area uh this is what you farm i was able to farm level four when i farmed it you get about one percent experience a run so you're gonna need to farm this thing like a hundred times and yeah, there's no way to auto farm it you might be able to use some sort of auto clicking device on a phone not that i would ever do that that seems really sketchy i would never endorse that but uh i might yeah i mean it is what it is anyway that's how i got him leveled up and those are the units i've used my next goal again and this is another very free to play friendly goal is right here one thing that uh, it's hard to find, you can craft these dungeon portals. As you're clearing stuff in this game, you will find secret dungeons. And if you go to battle, you will find the secret dungeons in Kairos Dungeon Secret Dungeon. You can see right now, my friend Strawberry has Imp open for 19 more minutes. Here's the unit that you want. This is your girl. This is the girl that's going to make life so much easier for you, so much easier for me when I get her and I can't wait to have her. You go select secret dungeon attribute, select light, and you want the cowgirl, right? Where is she? Cow right here. There's our girl, cowgirl. Her passive decrease enemy's attack bar by 20% with each attack and weakens enemy's defense for one turn. She does defense break and attack bar down every single time she hits them what this seems insane i just need her to spawn now you can join another little secret trip you could come up here and switch your channel to channel 1050 this is like the dungeon drop channel but i have never actually been able to join one from here because every time one of these rooms drops like there's yeti secret dungeon so i could you could click this and ask for permission to join I've seen it like three or four times. No one's ever been able to let me in. So I try to craft it myself and it's just an RNG thing. I've never actually gotten lucky enough to do it. So I hit select secret dungeon light. Come on, come on, fingers crossed. Let's do this thing, craft it. Let's go, give it to me, freaking howl. So once again, I don't get it. It is what it is. I check this all the time. Like there's mine, St. Vincenzo here just found salamander. So it's just not, it's hard. 
it's hard to find that thing still she will be a big boost wait 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 did it just spawn no she'll be a big boost for me when i can get her and a big boost for you when you can as well i have spent a little money on this game just because i wanted to pull for fun as i was trying to work on you know figuring out do i want light uh, water siri do i want water geralt Gerald, Geralt, what is wrong with my pronunciation of that guy lately? But I wouldn't have needed any of those. This man has been my absolute number one damage healer. You can see I got his crit damage up to 179, but to boost these numbers even more, it's just gonna take me better runes, still that's a team comp that at least get you to giants 10 and that's how i do it i know the things i need to work on next are runes and uh tuning my speed there's definitely a certain order you want your units to go in and i will continue to work on that and whenever i figure that out maybe i'll talk about it in another new player video so if you're new i hope this helped you out if you're a veteran and i did something really stupid or you have an obvious tip for me i've really appreciated all of the tips people who watch my videos in my community or people that have just friended me and sent me messages in game have sent you guys are awesome thank you for watching have a nice day and i'll catch you next time let's watch a run of giants 10 let's do it i'll let you watch one i'll let should we try abyss mm, no let's try here's the difference right if you look at the strategy between abyss his counter attack so if you let's look at normal here's what this dude does fend off he counterattacks the enemy immediately after his seventh attack. So every time he's hit seven times, he counterattacks. If he switches to Abyss, his stat, his stats get better, but Fendoff levels up and he attacks all enemies after the seventh attack, which has made beating him really hard. But let's see. Let's see if my auto team right here, here's the one I was using, can do it. Now I'm going to drop Geralt for, I'm going to try Lapis here right yeah because she's got she's got about 20,000 hp which should be enough and it gives me i'm just gonna see if she can run it here let's see if she can kind of keep herself alive as fran fails to heal me i'll show you real quick my boss setup right here mid boss i have him kill it focus in the boss and dungeon boss i have him focus in the boss i think that's the way to go on this just burden the boss down you can see the kind of damage numbers i'm doing and you'll see that crow and the you know i call her anivia because i played league of legends crow and anivia you know warwick and anivia out here definitely doing my most damage and everybody else is here for those you know shreds the breaks the dots all of that stuff just keep me rolling okay second floor here's the mid boss this is much easier this ice mid boss in my opinion much easier than the fire mid boss that just wrecks my team this one i don't really have that much of a problem getting through you can see i'm stacking the continuous dot damage uh dots on him and they really wreck him when it ever gets to be his turn you can see anivia's out here freezing the ads preventing them from even taking turns he's gonna get a turn in a minute it did like 20 percent of his hp and damage right there just from that and you can see we're sustaining pretty well like these trash waves even on this abyss level really aren't a huge problem for us now we i would say i lack damage that that seems to be the clear thing for me also i seem to lack some resistance like they're landing their freezes which is definitely hurting me and there's the nice thing about magic knight keeping herself alive that's going to free fran up if she ever gets a turn again in her whole life to start healing up my bird to start healing up anivia a little bit anivia lands a clutch freeze come on fran drop a purify there we go okay we needed to top off the bird now it's the boss watch this we're going to hit him seven times and then he's going to truck us with damage here it comes boom he does that much damage to us every time we hit him seven times how did i beat him once well i manualed it and just perfectly used my heals. You can see if we are allowed to kind of heal up, we can sustain through it. And so sometimes what I would do is like swap my damage around, like maybe hit that tower on the left just to buy Fran enough time to get another heal off. But I don't know, man. I don't know. He's wrecking us. You can see our HP going down. We have got him to about half HP, but there goes some people on my team. Bird's down. Heck, everybody's down except for Magic Knight, Ray Earth, and, you know, Dark Genie. Okay, and now they're both dead too. So that would be like what an Abyssal run would look like for me. Abyssal normal on auto. I can manual that, but the goal here is not to manual. The goal is to be able to background farm it and B10 is much easier. Let's go ahead. I'm going to throw this in here. If you guys have quit watching at this point, I appreciate that you watch this long, honestly, but let's go ahead and run this guy once um on auto so here's what an auto run looks like with this entirely free to play team that revolves that involves no rng right these are all units that you can either farm these units in the front row oh and fran 
or you just hit the game gives you for free with Lapis. So here's what that team looks like on Giants. Keep in mind too, I do not have Elemental Advantage working for me here. On Dragon, I do have Elemental Advantage with a lot of these units, and that helps. Still, Dragon I, is just trickier for me. It, it's, I haven't find, I say fine tune, like I know what the hell I'm doing. I haven't fine tuned that run enough yet. Um, but I, I figure I'll give you guys a look at this one. Okay, here we go. We're draining, we're attacking. You can see crows out here dropping those big damages. Anivia's doing the big damage. Boom. There's more big damage from Anivia. Again, if you played League of Legends, you absolutely understand what I'm calling these units. If you didn't, well, I don't know. It's a great game. You should probably try it out. Okay, we got the defense break on him. We got two stacks of defense break now. I'm honestly not even 100% sure if those two stacks stack or if that's two turns of that defense break. I have a feeling it's like two turns of the defense break. You can see when um, Sigmaris jumps in there, he stuns or knocks the attack bar down of all the enemies. That's so useful on these trash stages too for just not letting these trash units focus down one of your teammates uh one of your monsters it you would be surprised at how many times that happens to you you walk out here all worried about a boss and it's these guys who truck you and it feels real bad okay here we go you can see again we definitely lack some damage i'm gonna blame runes mostly for that and lack of skill ups as well all right here we go I will say I did use all of my devil mons. This is a good thing to say. All the devil mons I've used, I used on the bird. So the Anivia is max skills. She has the most skill ups of anybody on my team. I just really need to get her crit damage. Oh gosh, Magic Knight Ray Earth right there down. That's gonna be rough. And that's probably why I was using Ger uh, Geralt instead of her. Geralt has more HP for me than she does. So it looks like switching those out has cost me a little bit here. Plus he's getting more attacks off. She's been a little bit less able to drop his attack bar than my pirate was. Now, maybe we live through this anyway and win, but I think without Geralt, we're gonna have a hard time. If he gets another turn, he might kill himself with his um, continuing damage. Yeah, got him. Okay, so even there, even with that run going about as bad as I've had a run go, we still won because of the continuous damage debuffs we put on him. Now, let's see if we actually got something worth keeping. Okay, it does have six stars. It's purple, so it's hero level, which isn't great. It's HP percent on the attack set. Um, look, like this is kind of a low number. Flat defense sucks. Like if I was going to try to power this up again, new player, I know these runes, like you can still get to 63%. I know these runes aren't great. And if you're like a veteran player, you're like, oh my God, throw that thing in the trash. Now I would probably throw that thing in the trash because defense, it rolled it. But I don't know if there was a unit that just really wanted flat attack. This is a HP rune. So you probably want to attack here instead, but you do have some nice attack here. I don't know. I'll keep it for now just because what the heck else do I got but that's what my auto runs look like even with the scuffed run I'm probably going to take Lapis back out and put like Geralt or the pirate back in there you go all right thank y'all for watching I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you next time peace